Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the named and multiple outlet or we can say this as a auxiliary route in Angular 15. In the previous videos, where we have discussed about the routes and we have seen what is the child route and apart from that, what is, what is the right uh, route link and we have seen what is the router uh, link as well. So we have seen couple of the things. So now in this video, we will discuss about the multiple outlets. So like you have seen in the previous video, whenever we have to redirect from one page to another page uh, and when we give the router link, so with that we give the router outlet as well. So this router outlet is basically a placeholder which get filled dynamically by the Angular and depend on like on which uh, router or which component we are going to move. So it depend on that. So like basically if what if we want more than one router outlet. So if there, there are the multiple router outlet, so we call it as a auxiliary routing. So for an example, if we want the multiple router outlet, then what we have to do, the first one will be the default and that is the necessary. Like you have to put it without that it will not work. And if you are going to give the another router outlet, then we have to give the name and the name of that outlet, like what outlet you want to give. So the unnamed outlet is the primary outlet. Like the thing is whatever the uh, this router outlet is the primary outlet and except of the primary out outlet, other uh, outlet will have the name. This is the name keyword and the outlet name. We can have the multiple also. Now auxiliary route. So a component has one primary route and zero or more auxiliary route. Auxiliary route allow us to use the navigate multiple route to define an auxiliary route we need a named route outlet where the component of the auxiliary route will be rendered so let's understand this auxiliary route with an example so let's go to the visual studio and in this visual studio we have the app component and we have couple of the router links here and we have the default router outlet and this is the app routing module so when we run this application so this application look like this like there are the couple of the navigation bar if we have the student teacher and contact us now if we talk about the auxiliary route so what we will do here we will understand with the example of the home and the teacher component so for that one to create the auxiliary route first what we have to do the component which we are going to make the auxiliary so what we have to do first so for an example we are going to use the teacher in the app component so here i'm going to define an outlet for this component so for this to define it like let's put the comma and then outlet and then we have to give the outlet name so here i'm going to do as a std list any name you can give according to your requirement so that name i have given here now the another thing is in the app component of html what we have to do we have to use the auxiliary route so let's copy it and here we have to give the name property so to give the name property we have to give the same name whatever we have given the outlet name here so this name we have to put it now the next thing like we are navigating from here now currently what is happening we are navigating to the teacher so when you will click on the teacher you can see it is the primary like the root and then slash teacher so currently like we are on the different page so currently it is saying page not found and the reason we know because now we have put the outlet uh, property there that's why it is not uh identifying now the next thing like in the case of the outlet what will happen in the same page we will have this teacher component so for defining that one now currently we are defining in this way so we have to make the little changes here and what is that so let's define it so here first what we have to do in this bracket we have to use the curly braces inside the curly braces curly braces uh, we have to use the outlets that is the thing and then colon and after the colon we have to use the outlet which we have defined here so let's copy it and put it here and then colon again and after that what we have to define we have to define the teacher so this is this is the routing name basically whatever we have given here the same name will come here so this is the way we define it 
So now let's save this one. If you will save this and go in the browser. So if you will click on the home. So let's go here and navigate to the here. And now when you will go on the teacher, you will see uh, like here we are seeing the home works and then teacher works also means this teacher tab is basically showing on the home page and the URL you can see like basically this is the home component and then we are adding the outlet to this one and that is the teacher. So like basically now currently we are not seeing slash teacher it is home like slash home and then teacher so it is showing on the same page. So this is the way we use the uh, auxiliary route in our angular application. Now another thing what we can do let's go here and go to the teacher HTML and here what I will do I will create one button here. So let's create one button and this button name let's give the back and let's attach one click event to this one and in this let's define the one event and in here let's define this one. So here what we are going to do is basically here this is the router uh, like object we have so this dot router dot navigate so where we will navigate so here basically we are using the uh, uh, like router outlet so to navigate on that what we have to use is first brackets and then curly braces and inside this one let's give the outlets and inside this one what we have to define we have to define the outlet we have which we have taken here so let's copy this outlet name and inside this one inside this outlets let's first give the colon here now inside this one what we have to do we have to pass as a null here and after this one let's define this because we have to close this now let's save this let's go in the browser now in the teacher we can see on the teacher tab it is a contain a back button so when i will click on this back button we are going on the home component again and again if you will click on the teacher we are coming on the teacher so this teacher component is coming as an auxiliary route and how we define this auxiliary route is basically using this name uh, property which we are having here so this is the way we use it as, like uh, in the angular like uh, basically this is the primary outlet and this is the uh, like auxiliary route or the or we can call it as a named route as well so this is the way we create uh, the auxiliary route in the angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you